Hey yo, it's your boy Pop Fix It. Back with another one. A little quick update on my convertible Dakota, the vert back here. So I've been working on the underside of this the, the last day or two. I've been trying to get it tidied back up and I want to get the wheels on it and get it off the lift. So the frame was awful on this thing. This truck had 86,000 miles and they must have all been on the beach. It looks a little better now that I did the old Rusto Resto on it. Uh, I'll, get, I'll, I'll show you the tools and stuff that I'm using on the other side, but uh, yeah. So got a, got a little bit of cleanup do. Did a little bit of cleaning up. I went over the whole thing with the needle scaler. I went over everything with the wire wheel and then lots of patches. Look at, uh, I'm gonna call this frame patches now. Uh, it's bad. This whole frame rail is just patched up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's awful. The whole thing. The other one's not so bad. So, bad news is, this frame is pooched. Uh, I'm not gonna drive this truck like this. It's, I want this to be a nice, this is a convertible Dakota. It's rare as hell. I, uh, it can't be sitting on a frame like this, ain't right. So, I got another truck, same drivetrain, same wheelbase, everything's the same. The frame's clean. So, I'm gonna take that out, sandblast it, and put that, this body, on top of that. So this frame is just gonna go underneath like a farm truck basically. So I'm not too worried about the terrible patchwork on it. But I found some new places that it rusts. I wasn't aware of this one, but these little pockets here must keep stuff down in there. And got some perforations on the frame behind where these control arms mount. So I'll go over to the other side where I've been repairing that. This is my bad corner. Uh, so you can see I got a little piece welded in there. And same thing over here. They got a little hole behind there, which is no bueno. So, yeah, there's some patches over on this side. Leaky motor. This is this is my ugly corner. This is probably the worst of the damage. This is all going to be underneath the quarter panel. I got to bend bang this down. I got to weld some things on there and pull that out. But Overall, the damage isn't too bad. Got a little dent to fix in the door and the bed there, but I think those will pop out pretty good. Yeah, so I got, got some work cut out for me here, but yeah, this frame is being a big disappointment for something with 86,000 miles. It looks terrible. It's all full of sand. Uh, I guess that's what you get on Copart, eh? This frame rail's not too bad. They must have only drove the passenger side in the sand or something. I don't know. Well, this side's not great either, but... Yeah, so there's there's the vert deck for today. I'm going to hopefully get this thing back back together and wheels on. It's got to patch these two holes, patch the two on the other side. And I think all I have to do then is I need the well, got to put the control arm back in. I'm going to have to put the sh the front shocks on. And then I think the wheels. Yesterday I got the torsion bars back in. I had them out. I cleaned them up. So yeah, it looks better with the coat of spray paint on it. It was pretty ugly before. It'll be fine for a farm truck, not not a show truck though. So yeah, I got plenty of work to do here. All right, so there's the vert deck update for today. You know, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, or don't, I don't care. Whatever, see ya.